1.1 i, whole numbers and decimals, dividing whole numbers. Long division places the second number in front. The thing to remember here is that the second number is not, emphasizing not, the smaller number. Now, sometimes the second number happens to be a smaller number than the first, but we do not choose the smaller number. We choose the second number to go in front. When there are leftovers after division, we call this the remainder. Sometimes we just use either or a little r or a capital R to show remainder. Different ways to show divide. There are a couple different symbols we use to show divide. The first of which is the usual division symbol. The second is when we have what looks like a fraction, 6 over 2. This fraction bar actually means 6 divided by 2. The third way we show division is with the long division symbol. Example 1 asks us to divide 452 divided by 13. When doing long division, remember, we take the second number, or the 13, and place it out front. We then draw the long division symbol, and we place 452 inside. We now proceed to divide. When dividing, it is sometimes helpful to make estimations. When we look at the number 13, we need to estimate how many times it will go into 45. The reason we are looking at the 45 is because 13 does not go into the first digit, 4, so we move to the second digit and decide how many times 13 goes into 45. Since 13 is close to 15, and we know that three 15s make 45, we know that 13 can go into 45 at least three times. We now multiply 3 times th 13 to get 39. After multiplying, we then subtract 45 from 13. As before, sometimes subtraction requires you to borrow. We cross out the 4, making it a 3, and carry the 1 to be next to the 5. We now have 15 minus 9, which is 6, and 3 minus 3, which is 0, which is not needed to be written down. We now bring the next digit down. We now have 62. We now ask how many times does 62 go into, excuse me, how many times does 13 go into 62? Since we know that 3 times 13 is 39, we can estimate that it should go in 4 times. 4 times 13 results in 52. We now subtract, giving us 10. There are no more digits to bring down, and 13 does not go into 10 which shows we chose a large enough number for the last digit. The number 10 is our leftovers, or our remainder. We therefore write next to the 34 an R10. Our answer, therefore, is 34 remainder 10. 
Example 2 shows a fraction, which is another way of showing division. We take the second number, which in the case of a fraction is the bottom number. We take that second number and we will place it out front of the long division. And we place the first number inside. We now proceed to divide by asking how many times does 24 go into 1, which is not possible, so we move to 12. 24 does not go into 12, so we need to go one digit further and ask how many times does 24 go into 120. We can make an estimation and estimate that it should go in approximately 5 times. 5 times 4 is ten, 20, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, so it actually went in exactly 5 times. Therefore, when I subtract, I get a 0. Sometimes at this point, many students become confused as to the next step. The thing to remember is to continue with the long division just as if you would have gotten a number other than 0. This means you bring down the next number. We now have the number 2. We ask ourselves, how many times does 24 go into 2? Since the answer to this is 0, we need to remember that this number must be written down. One of the common mistakes at this point in a long division is for someone to bring down the 4 because they assume that they have not brought down a number yet. This is not the case. You must look at the number written and decide how many times 24 goes into it, in this case 0 times. When we do 0 times 24, we get 0, resulting in the subtraction gives us a 2. We now can bring down the next number, which is 4. We now ask ourselves, how many times does 24 go into 24, which is 1 time? Which, when we multiply 1 times 24, we get 24. After subtracting, we get a 0. In this case, there are no leftovers, therefore the remainder is 0. A remainder of zero is usually not written. Therefore, our answer is 501.